Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, predestined with free will, talking about the nations. Scripture references out of Psalm 115, verses 2 and 3. Why should the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. And oh my, is that offensive to a lot of people. And yes, God is in control over the nations, yet the nations have free will to choose their destiny. And now a nation's destiny is based on one simple foreign policy decision. How will that nation relate to God's chosen people? Israel. And God states in Genesis 12, verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And that's God talking. So a nation's course of history is determined by their interaction and response toward nation Israel. That's what Genesis is talking about. Or that's what God's saying in Genesis. The Old Testament is full of examples of God's judgment toward the enemies of Israel. And likewise, nations who show favor towards Israel are blessed. Now, specifically, we're going to take a look at Psalm 2. God makes it perfectly clear who is in charge. Notice the nations are exhibiting their free will. They are raging and plotting. Nations are gathering together under their sovereignty. Nobody's making them do it. Uh, Their choice is to take on the Creator, God. And the nations think they can break free from God and His will. And we'll take a look at that in Psalm 2, verses 1 and 3. Why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. I mean, so they think they're going to pull this off. Um, God's response to humanity's rebellion towards him, he laughs, he taunts. Then God explains how things are going to be. The creator is in charge despite the creation's free will. Note the terms wrath, terrify, and fury. God means business, and he will emphatically put down the rebellion. Now his answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jerusalem is the headquarters, and we get this from Psalm 2, verses 4 and 6, or 4 through 6. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. Now, we take the king to be Jesus, and Zion is Jerusalem, uh, my holy hill probably where the Temple Mount's going to be placed at some point. Um, It's stated that he, Jesus, will rule with a rod of iron and shatter them, the nations, like clay pots. So yes, nations can choose the destiny of their nation. Their free will and choice are no match. Nations are either with God or against him. And God will rule and Christ will be in charge. And we'll look at Psalm 2, verses 6 through 9. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So, you know, uh, lastly, in looking at Psalm 2, a warning has been issued to the leaders of earth. Use some common sense. Homage. To the sun is expected, and we close out uh, Psalm 2, verses 10 through 12. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. So, you know, spare me all this nonsense about how God's some big mean ogre. I mean, read the last sentence. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. He's telling you there's a way out. Use your free will and choose the Son, Jesus Christ. Take safety in his provision for sin. He has you covered. Otherwise, 
sin will be judged. There is accountability and consequence to your free will sin. And spare me all this nonsense about how, well, it doesn't matter if you did it on purpose or as an accident or whatever. Sin is sin. You missed the mark. And it doesn't matter. The destination is an eternal lake of fire. So any of you folks out there who think you're perfect, good luck with that. Uh, whether you sinned on purpose or whether you sinned accidentally, you still sinned. A sin is a sin. Consequence is the same. Jesus covers all those one way or another. So save yourself a lot of drama. Turn to Christ. And, uh, you know, just look at our look at our world today. <laughs> and especially take a look at Psalm 2, 1 through 3. Nations rage, peoples plot in vain. They're ready to take on God. That kind of sounds like today's headlines. Oh, well. Uh, if you're interested in this topic, um, please feel free to check out Paul the Poke. And if you want to follow along, click on the blue bar. You can type in your email address, receive an email every time we put something out. And then also um, scan down here on the far right column, looking at Jude. Uh, this will be categorized under Jude. This is part of a series within the book of Jude. I think we're on the fourth verse. So just getting started of the 25 so appreciate you guys following along uh enjoy the day appreciate you following take care bye